Hello, welcome to Temple Baptist Church. Good to be back with you for our devotional time here in the uh, new year. We're just getting started in 2022. I want to read from Ezekiel chapter 39. I want to read verse 25, and then we'll probably turn over to chapter 45 and maybe look at a couple of verses there. But uh, uh, in chapter 39, verse 25, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Now I will bring back the captives of Jacob, and have mercy on the whole house of Israel, and I will be jealous for my holy name. As I said, we're, we're into the new year already, and normally this time of year people start, have already made resolutions, and mostly, uh, probably most of them by this time have already given up on that resolution. I found some uh, amusing stories here from people in the past, uh, what social media says uh, that some resolutions were. One of them was to wave at fellow motorists at stoplights. Well, that one would be pretty easy to do, but then this there sign up for a marathon and don't run it, then you can probably, you could probably keep that. Uh, stop procrastinating tomorrow. Uh, just a few there. Uh, get lost without any help from Siri, you know, we could, I could, I could do that, resolutions like that, uh, uh, then we could probably on Facebook, we could ever, we could unfriend everyone who posts their workout regimen, you know, we don't, I really don't want to know about your workout regimen, but, uh, you know, I think uh, the, the concept of a fresh start, and again, I say we're here on the, uh, the eve of the new year, just started into a new year, 2022, and, uh, you know, it can be serious business, I think, and, uh, you know, that, that passage of scripture that we just read there in Ezekiel uh, chapter 39 and, and verse 25, they were, uh, uh, however, the, you know, the exiled people of Judah were uh, desperately needed one. Just over two decades into uh, their 70-year captivity, God is, is bringing some uh, encouragement to them through the prophet Ezekiel. If you've been following uh, Brother Wayne and his Sunday school lessons were in the book of Ezekiel. He's doing a great job of teaching those. But uh, you know, it, but here he's through the prophet Ezekiel. He's telling them that, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will bring back the captives of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel, and I will be jealous for my holy uh, name. They, you know, they, they needed that, but uh, but before that could happen the nation of Israel needed to return to the basics. And I think that's what it's about, is getting back to the basics. And if you if you turn over to chapter 45, and uh, uh, we'll look at verse 9, uh, law, here is my, a heading in my Bible says, Laws governing the princes. Thus saith the Lord God, Enough, O princes of Israel, remove violence and plundering, ex execute judgment and righteousness, and stop disposing my people, saith the Lord. You shall have honest scales, and honest ephod, and honest bath. The ephod and the bath shall be the same measure, so that the bath contains one-tenth of a homer, and the ephod one-tenth of a homer, and the measure shall be according to the homer. In other words, be honest, get back to the basics, you know, uh, observing feast of the new year, he talks about that in Ezekiel chapter 45, and 17 through uh, 20, uh, you know, burnt offering, grain offerings, new moons, the Sabbaths, and all of that. And uh, in verse 18, thus saith the Lord God, in the first month of the first day of the month, you shall take a young bull without blemish and cleanse it and, and clean and cleanse the sanctuary. So the priest, uh, you know, the blood sacrifices and all that, get back to the basics. You know, the purpose of these uh, uh, festivals would remind them that God's character and his expectations. He told the leaders, you know, give up your violence, give up your oppression, give up all that. And I think the, the lesson applies to us today. Our faith must be put into practice. You know what? Did, you know James tells us that uh, in this new year that God has provided what we need. May we live our faith by returning to the basics, the basics of life. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and your neighbor as yourself. You know, too many times we get caught up in the new year and don't make this resolution and that resolution, but we need to just get back to the basics of being resolved to follow God. Be His child. Be, his, be the example that He shows for us to be. Be honest. Be mature. 
Whatever word we may want to use there, we do all of those things. And it's my prayer that as the year progresses, that we just grow more like Jesus, become more like Him. Make that the resolution every day of our life to be more like Jesus. God bless you. Come and be a part of our services here at Temple Baptist Church. We meet on Sunday mornings at 8 o'clock. And we have Sunday school classes beginning at 9, and then our second worship service is at 10. And Sunday night we are at uh, 6 o'clock, and Wednesday night at 7 we have prayer meeting and Bible study. Come and be a part of those. May God bless you is our prayer.